Hi, I'm Nick from CR Kennedy, and today I'm going to introduce you to the Wizen monitoring solution. In this video, I'll be covering the sensors, also reviewing the Wizen mesh network, and also having a look at the software in the background that keeps all this together. Now, let me start off with the key uh, node in the solution. Uh, it's the OmniTilt. It's a triaxial tilt meter, accurate to four decimal places. When we place this on an object, uh, we can detect movement up to a 20th of a millimeter and alert on that movement. The greatness of this solution is that it's completely battery operated uh, and wireless. So it makes install, uh, installation very, very easy. The battery inside this node lasts for up to 10 years and the casing is IP66. So extremely dust proof, waterproof, uh, and they can handle uh, a fair bit of bat battering around. These nodes also use a 2.4 gigahertz radio to communicate back to the gateway, which I'll speak about in a moment. Now let's have a look at the next one. This is a smaller mini tilt, the same accuracies as the O tilt, but this one only works on two axes. So really just movement uh, left and right and forward and backwards. We use a bracket that looks like this. Uh, it's a right angle bracket to be able to mount this on retaining walls and buildings for monitoring movement. Same uh, IP rating, smaller radio range. So that one works up to 400 meters. This one works up to about 100 meters because uh, the aerial's inside. The battery life is a bit less on this one as well. Only about four years on this battery life where that one was about uh, 10 years. The unique feature of all the nodes is the ability that if you finish a project after two or three years and you just want to just put it, shelve the solution for a little while, they've all got a little on off switch so you can save those battery power and then when you're ready for the next project, turn it back on and away you go. The next note I'm going to have a look at is the Disto Tilt. This one comes in 33 meter and 100 meter variants. So the way I see the Disto node working is place it on a solid object on your site. And it's more about shooting to that wall over there that's not on your site that it's important to know if that wall's moving. So because this has the triaxial tilt sensor in it, we know that what you've mounted it on is or isn't moving, and hopefully it's not. And then what we can use is the disto distance to that wall over there to work out, is that wall moving in and out? So the disto node is another option. The next node we'll have a look at is the interface node. Using again the 2.4 gigahertz network to communicate through the other nodes and back to the gateway. But this one allows third-party geotechnical sensors to be plugged in uh, to use their data. This sensor I have here in particular is a crack sensor. So we bolt this either side of a possibly an existing crack that's on site. And as the construction work is going ahead, if that crack starts to change shape or, or size, uh, it'll alert back through the node, back through the gateway and into the software with all the other geotechnical sensors. Now the next node I want to show you is the camera node. Now this is a interface node that allows a camera to be over top of your site viewing all these other nodes. As they trigger a reading every, say, half hour, what you've got them set to, you can also trigger the camera to take a reading every half hour as well. And if you get start to get movement, you can then go through and you can see the movement in your graphs, but you can also see a, uh, a picture representation of the movement as well. Maybe you can work out that you know, there's a worker touching one of the nodes, that's why it's moving, or there's a dozer parked right next to one of the nodes, that's why that node's gone out of, out of level. So the camera nodes saves you doing site visits. So as I said, this one can move, jump 400 meters back to the gateway uh, directly, uh, and this one can jump 100 meters back, but you can put this node up to 600 meters away or further. Uh, and what it'll do is it'll find a path to jump back. As long as it can jump through a node, it'll jump through the node back to the gateway. Because not only are these uh, a radio, but they're also a repeater. So the gateway is our modem to the internet. It's a 4G modem. It also has uh, battery power to last up to 400 days and also has some backup uh, data storage there as well, about eight gig of backup data storage. So if for any reason the mobile phone network goes down, it can buffer its own data for a significant amount of time. When the data comes back up again, it can just download that onto the cloud mesh software. Because that one has slightly less battery life than this, if your project is gonna go for a couple of years, you might wanna put a solar panel uh, into the solution. So that helps gain a little bit of extra time on the, the batteries, and especially in Australia, there's plenty of sunlight, so a good solution to add on to your gateway. 
So that's a wrap up of the solution in a nutshell. Uh, and just to show you what I did, it was the interface node, it was the Omnitilt triaxial node, the mini node, more for indoor work, the disto in 30, 30 meters or 100 meter variance, the bracketry for seeing this system up on site, the gateway, the camera, and the solar. Now for urban environments, the 2.4 gigahertz radio is great. It works very, very well. But it also comes in a 900 megahertz radio variant as well, which works better for longer ranges. So like for mining applications is the better choice. Now for more information about the wires and monitoring solution, please don't hesitate to contact us at any of our CR Kennedy offices. Now in the next video, we're going to have a look at the software.